Welcome to Easy Anatomy. Uh, uh, let me talk to you today about uh, the blood supply of the heart. And uh, in this condition, I'm going to cover ar both arterial supply and venous drainage of the heart. So uh, let me uh, first give you a brief introduction that uh, arteries of the heart, we have two coronary arteries, the right, coronary and left coronary both of them coming from the ascending aorta the origin of both come from ascending aorta okay right coronary coming from right sinus and left coronary from the left sinus so you know that the aorta, ascending aorta, has two dilation at the beginning. Okay, so you have right coronary and the left coronary. Right coronary and the left coronary. Okay, and this is the ascending aorta. Okay, so uh, when we discuss uh, right and left coronary we need to make sure that we know we know what is the area of the heart uh, supplied by each of them and we discuss the collateral circulation between both of them so let me start by having a simple drawing for the anterior and the posterior surface of the heart anterior and the posterior surface of the heart if we look at the heart from the front so this is the heart from the front and this is the heart from the back okay so from the front keep in mind that we have the coronary sulcus this is the coronary sulcus which might be interrupted by the ascending aorta and the pulmonary trunk right okay so we have the ascending aorta coming from the left ventricle this is the ascending aorta and here is the pulmonary trunk which is going to split into two branches this is the pulmonary trunk and this is the coronal sulcus okay so from the front you will see that right coronary artery is traveling through the coronary sulcus like this and then turn it backward and they come from behind like that until it reach to the junction between the interatrial and the interventricular septum and to continue down as posterior interventricular artery posterior interventricular artery okay so this is the right coronary artery from the front and here is from the back right coronary artery in its course between the right atrium this is the right atrium and here is the right ventricle in the course between right atrium and right ventricle send the branches atrial and ventricular branches in addition to a branch to the SCE node nodal branch also is going to send a branch is called the nodal branch SCE node and also a branch to the AV node okay so this is part of the conducting system of the heart in addition at the right border of the heart this border is going to send this branch was called right marginal right marginal artery so we have atrial you have ventricular you have nodal branches to a node and also to a v node to a v node okay 
from behind is continuing down here to form or to continue uh, giving this posterior interventricular artery or descending branch posterior descending branch and this is uh, in, in about 67 percent and in this case we call it the right coronary dominance when posterior descending branch come from when the posterior descending branch come from the right coronary this is still right coronary from the back right coronary we call it right uh, coronary dominance so at the end of the day if i ask you what are area of the heart or parts of the heart supplied by the right coronary so right coronary artery is supplying one right atrium okay most of right ventricle part of the left ventricle here in this area give right and left so part of left ventricle adjacent to the posterior descending branch for SCA node in about 60 percent and AV node in about 80 percent so this is the right coronary how about left coronary the left coronary artery is coming from the left sinus of the ascending aorta and once it appear here in the coronary sulcus does not travel for long distance instead is going to split into anterior descending branch or less clinician call it left descending branch left descending branch okay uh, or anterior interventricular artery anterior interventricular artery and uh, sometimes we call it uh, anterior descending branch and the clinician they call it lead or left anterior descending left anterior so it has three names this one so left anterior descending or lead or left or sorry anterior enter ventricular artery okay and the descent to the apex of the heart then reflect backward to an smooth with this one to an smooth with the posterior descending branch so and so the anterior descending or anterior interventricular will an smooth with the posterior descending which is coming from the right the second branch here is called the circumflex and the turn backward coming from this side until it reach to this area which we call it crux and the crux is the area or the junction between is the junction between interatrial and interventricular septum this area we call it crux interatrial septum interventricular septum okay so again so this one is the circumflex circumflex art here is from the anterior here is from the posterior continue and an with the right coronary with the right coronary and now the left coronary has two major branch circumflex and left anterior descending and also send left atrial branches supplying left ventricle and adjacent part of right ventricle here in 40 percent of cases supply SCA node 40 percent supply SCA node in 40 percent in 20 percent supply EV node in 20 percent okay and in about uh, 15 percent of cases it gives the posterior descending branch so the left coronary again supply left atrium most of left ventricle part of right ventricle 40 percent SA node 5 20 percent AV node okay and 
in addition to that left coronary in about 15 percent or so it can give posterior descending branch which usually come from the right in this case we we'll call it left coronary dominance left coronary dominance so this is the right coronary dominance if right coronary same disease branch left coronary if the posterior descending coming from the circumflex or left coronary okay so you notice something is that there is anastomosis here there is anastomosis between right and the left coronary and uh, this anastomosis is not enough we call this anastomosis still we call coronary functional in the arteries it means that this arteries have yes they have collateral circulation and anastomosis but not sufficient to compensate if atrial or ventricular arteries are occluded the atrial or ventricular branch like this branches you see or this branches the the, the myocardiac branches but why because myocardiac branches don't have anastomosis that's why we have ischemic heart or we have infarction if there is anything happen that is why we have infarction if, if those branches if those branches occluded it means that we have infarction okay it's very important to know how about venous drainage of the heart venous drainage of the heart venous drainage of the heart maybe is a good idea to draw the one so again here is the heart from the front here is the heart from the back I'm talking about venous drainage of the heart so from the front you have the great cardiac vein shift posterior like this and side by side with uh, the anterior descending branch this is what we call it great cardiac vein okay and the one which travel with the right coronary is called a small cardiac vein small cardiac vein travel with the right coronary okay and come from posterior here then the one which side by side with the circumflex artery is big vein here is called coronary sinus this one is called coronary sinus so the coronary sinus receives this guy coming from the front this is the great cardiac vein great cardiac vein okay and receives this guy which coming from the front is a small cardiac vein small cardiac vein okay this is from the posterior surface this is anterior this is posterior you will see that middle cardiac vein is the one coming from the posterior or ascending through the posterior interventricular groove okay this is we call it middle cardiac vein so basically you have like big vein is called the coronary sinus it receives several cardiac veins including a small cardiac which should travel with the artery located here is what this is the right coronary the artery located here is what a left descending artery correct the artery located here is what circumflex so this is the circumflex artery next to the coronary sinus the one here is still 
right coronary artery, the one here posterior descending branch. In addition to that, we have the oblique veins of oblique veins of atrium coming here, anterior ventricular veins also. So you have several small veins around. There is also tiny veins which open directly into the chamber of the heart. It's called a uh, vena cardis minimi or minim the, 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 the minimal or the smallest cardiac veins and those are opening directly into the cardiac chambers different chambers of the heart so the venous drainage of the heart mainly through coronary sinus and vena cordis minimi which the coronary sinus end up into the right atrium but this small veins open into the four chambers of the heart okay so keep in mind i wish if you remember this fact this is the right atrium the right atrium receive superior vena cava inferior vena cava correct so bureau vena cava receive blood from upper half of body except the heart inferior vena cava lower half of body so except the heart because heart has its own vein which open into the right atrium is called coronary sinus now the whole body at the end of the day go to the right atrium through these three veins so bureau vena cava left inferior vena cava and the coronary sinus i hope that this uh, quick revision for the blood supply of the heart and before i close let me go back here and i ask you what vein is located here with the right coronary the vein is called small cardiac vein what vein here with the anterior descending branch this is the great cardiac vein what which vein located here in the back with the circumflex artery this is the coronary sinus okay which vein located in the posterior groove here this is middle cardiac vein middle cardiac vein okay uh, i forgot to tell you that the interventricular septum the anterior two-third of the interventricular septum supplied by this artery. The posterior third supplied by that one. So the anterior two-third supplied by the anterior descending branch and the posterior third supplied by the posterior descending branch. Thank you.